So the first key area was uh, shopping opportunities and experience. And one of the fortunate things that's happened over the last 12 months is that we have signed uh, an agreement and contracts with Woolworths to develop in Packham. Now, that's a, an $80 million project, and for those who haven't been to Packham recently, it's actually underway and it's been fenced off. I'm not sure if they're digging the hole yet. I haven't been down there this week, but uh, it might have been a bit wet, but that development is underway. When that development is finished in 18 months' time, it will provide 700 jobs for Kidinia, basically for Kidinia residents. Now that's particularly good for our youth because there's a lot of part-time jobs involved there, but once again, it starts this job creation for our youth and for our, our residents of Kidinia, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. It also brings, I think, the first real attempt to bring national brands to Kidinia. When you're looking at why people should come to Packham or come to Packham to spend their money, you've got to have the you've got to have the brands to make it attractive. At the moment, people will basically go to Fountain Gate because they've got all the name brands. So for the first time, and I, I don't know the brands, but I was talking to someone closely tied up with the development just recently at a function, and even they were surprised at the quality of national brands who want to be part, part of Cadinia. So there will be about 16 to 18 national brands coming to, uh, uh, to uh, Packham. Uh, you know, obviously, there will be Woolworths, the new Woolworths uh, 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 discount department store and the new uh, Woolworths uh, supermarket. Uh, Dick Smith will be part of that because it's all part of the, the Woolworths chain. But there will be 14 or 15 other national brands coming into Cadinia. So that's the first pillar to actually work around to try and attract people not to move out of Cadinia. The other interesting thing is up to 200, uh, during this time there'll be up to 200 people working on site during construction. And that provides also an opportunity for us to help local businesses, local trades. Now the first spin-off of that is obviously the cafes and I hope people, the cafe providers or food providers here today, you are opening up at six o'clock. And I'll give you a little insight what this impact is, because because when we had Woolworths down recently, I was told a story about Point Cook, slightly larger um, development than what we have at Packenham, but at six, between 6 a.m. and 10, p, uh, 10 a.m., that's four hours, one cafe alone sells 500 cappuccinos or coffees. That's of course, that's the workers. So there's a great opportunity for the fast food people to, um, to, to really make a killing over this next 18 months. We also uh, have given all, all our the site manager the um, trade, the businesses within uh, Cadinia because we want them to spend locally wherever possible. So we've provided them with a list of uh, suppliers, a whole range of suppliers which they may utilise over this next 18 months, as well as the tradies who come on site uh, that would provide these lists available to them. So if they, they're looking for supplies, they'll help hopefully uh, utilise um, those, uh, those local businesses as well. Now to complement this, there's going to be a fairly disruptive 18 months. We, we all accept, you know, I think we've got to accept that. So one of the things, and it started in today, if uh, people have read their Pakenham Gazette, uh, we, we started uh, a shopping packing campaign to underpin whilst the development's going on to promote Packham as a shopping destination to ensure that there's not too much disruption to businesses over this period. And um, someone's taken my sticker, so I should have checked before I come up here. But there is a sticker, I'll just imagine I've got a bumper star sticker, there's, Michelle's got one up the back. Uh, you'll see a lot of those on the back of uh, cars nowadays, thanks Phil. Uh, one of these. Uh, there's a media uh, campaign which I said started today and that's a, uh, a joint arrangement between ourselves, uh, the Packham Gazette and the Packham uh, Business Group. So there will be a lot of promotions through, uh, through this journey over 18 months regarding shopping in Packham as well. So there are a few of the things that uh, we're doing to ensure that the stimulus of uh, development in, in Packham through the Woolworths development is maintained. I think other uh, businesses have come into, uh, into Packham recently, the Bunnings and, and even the new Mitre 10 store, I know it's been there a little while, 
just to provide further anchors. Godfrey's in the last 12, 12 months, it talks about that national brand is another anchor. Toyota Packham, first of the real, uh, first of the new car dealers, hopefully we'll see more, but once again an an another anchor in attracting people to, uh, to Packham. So they're more on a retail uh, commercial basis. 